The next slot is for Independence for Change, who are not present, uh, have indicated, and I now proceed to the Social Democrats. Uh, Deputy Stephen Donnelly, uh, 10 minutes, unless he's sharing. Uh, no. Right ahead. Thank you, Gaelic. Um, Kierlik, I welcome the opportunity to address the rising cost of insurance and more generally the ongoing increases to the costs of living in Ireland. The Social Democrats campaigned on reducing the cost of living and we will pursue this goal uh, in this dull term. Kierlik, during the campaign it's fair to say that there was broad political agreement uh, across all parties in the independence on the need to put money back in people's pockets after eight years of austerity. I think it's something we can probably all agree on in this House. Where we differ is the following. Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and Labour propose to do this by cutting taxes to uh, make work pay, even though the OECD has just shown that we have one of the lowest tax wage, uh, wedges on Labour in the uh, 34 OECD countries. The Social Democrats do not believe that the way to put money back in people's pockets is to cut taxes. We believe this is irresponsible. We believe we need a stable tax base and we need an ongoing tax base in order to invest, including in infrastructure, in supporting small businesses, in sorting out the housing and homelessness crisis, in policing, uh, in tackling child poverty and so forth. We believe that the way to put money back into people's pockets and we must find ways to put money back into people's pockets, is to systematically and ruthlessly address the costs of living in this country, which are too high to begin with, and which we now know from the CSO are increasing across the board. Now, here, look, in insurance costs, which we're debating today, are a very good example of this. They, too, are too high to begin with. Um, they, too, are on the rise. It turns out, Cahirlach, the CSO's data shows that insurance costs are rising across all measures except one, which is travel insurance. Last year, insurance increased on average by over 11%. That is a massive, massive increase. Most people pay insurance. Most people pay a plethora of different insurances. Most houses, most households are already at the pin of their collar in terms of trying to make ends meet and pay the bills at the end of the month. An 11% increase on average on insurance bills will push a lot of people over the edge. It will force people to cancel uh, insurance, like health insurance, which I wish we didn't need in this country, but which a lot of people obviously feel they have no choice but to pay for. Look, car insurance deserves a special mention because it increased by a third in the last 12 months. Now, there haven't been a third more crashes. There haven't been a third more whiplash cases. There haven't been a third more fatalities, thank God. But car insurance has gone up by a third. Now, that is a massive additional bill for many people across the country. And, of course, some... Drivers have been asked to pay up to 50% more. The Freight Transport Association has reported receiving premium rates of 50% to 70% increases over 2014, 2015. Home insurance costs have gone up by 10% in the last year. Health insurance. There's an additional 100,000 people took out health insurance in the last year because of the lifetime community rating. But health insurance costs, even though the base has increased by 100,000 people, health insurance costs are up 3.5% this year. And premiums for hundreds of thousands of VHI customers are to increase by another 3% in May, which will be the second increase for them in the last six months. And businesses are suffering. We know that hauliers have seen very significant increases in their insurance. The Small Firms Association, Cahirlach, has estimated that insurance costs have increased by 30% for small and medium enterprises since 2011. Now think about that. Since 2011, when there has been significantly less economic activity, small businesses in Ireland are paying nearly a third more in insurance bills than they were 
in 2011. Now that suggests a very serious lack of focus on this by the last administration. So why are they going up, Cahirlik? We know that the book of quantum is past its sell-by date. Um, whiplash injuries account for 80% of motor insurance claims in the Republic. 80% of claims are whiplash. In some other jurisdictions, it's 3%. Now maybe the Irish people have extraordinarily delicate necks. Or maybe we rear-end our fellow motorists 20 to 30 times more than they do in other jurisdictions, but it's highly unlikely. What's more likely is that we have a litigious culture where people are claiming to have whiplash. And of course, the costs associated with firms defending those and trying to disprove it and so forth mean you just pay out. And what happens? Everybody else suffers. The book of Quantum Cahirlik currently it gives guidelines for enumeration of €14,400 for a neck injury, lasting up to a year, and 16300 for back injuries. Now, in a lot of cases, as someone with a long-suffering back injury myself, um, there is a need to pay that. But 80% whiplash claims versus 3% in other jurisdictions, something's not right there at all. Um, the Book of Quantum was introduced in 2004, it was 12 years ago. And to the best of my knowledge, it hasn't been updated. It needs to be updated very, very quickly. The other thing, of course, that's going on, Kirillik, is the price for legal services continues to rise. Um, I recall a meeting we had with the Troika when they were here, and they were very exercised about legal costs. They put a graph in front of us. And on the graph, there were lots of lines starting in 2008 going downwards over time. They said, you see that line? That's the accountants. You see that line there? That's the consultants. You see that line there? That's someone else. All trending down very, very quickly. And then there was one line that was going up and up and up and up. And they said, you see that line there? That's the lawyers. So somehow, even though we have solicitors and barristers unemployed and screaming for work, somehow legal fees have booked the trend of all the other professional services and have managed to increase significantly. Obviously something that needs to be dealt with very, very quickly. So what do we do? Average claim costs obviously need to come down. We need to reform how awards are set by the per Personal Injuries Assessment Board and by the courts. And we must have better non-litigation options so that legal fees are reduced and essentially, in as many cases as possible, they're abolished. We've got to have better information sharing in the industry so that fraud can be more readily tackled. We also need to make it much easier for drivers to switch premiums on car insurance and indeed for insurance options to be much uh, more readily accessible and consumer friendly. I heard an analyst explaining uh, healthcare insurance policies on the radio one day, and I'd say many people listened and had blood coming out of their ears trying to understand the plethora of different options and non-options out there. There needs to be a very serious focus on consumer-friendly products and simplicity um, in the market. Here, like the AA have suggested that the government should set up a task force to bring all relevant government agencies together, and that is something that the Social Democrats uh, strongly agree with. But while we're doing this, while we are very systematically, very thoroughly addressing the increasing cost of insurance and making sure that not only do they stop going up, but that that 33% increase we've seen in motor insurance starts coming back down again. We've got to do the same for the costs of living more generally, because Ireland is an expensive country. It is simply too expensive to live here. Rental, increases, re rental prices have gone up by 9%. Uh, in the year, education 4%, third level education 5%, childcare, already the first, second or third highest in the world, has actually increased uh, by 1%, at a time when inflation is essentially zero. So what do we need to do? Some of the things we need to do, Cahir, look, we must improve state funding for childcare and cap fees for parents. We've got to introduce paid parental leave for 12 months and legislate for better work flexibility. We've got to introduce truly free primary education covering the cost of things like school books and school transport. 
We've got to cap third level fees. The Social Democrats have proposed at €2,000, which is much closer to the European norm. We've got to end water charges. So, Kirlik, I'm delighted that the Dáil is taking this seriously. I hope that we are going to see some very focused um, and targeted reductions in insurance, but we've got to broaden the conversation to reducing the costs of living in this country quickly and significantly. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy. The next